All right. Hey, everybody. So um, I realized that last video when uh, my son was able to finish the, the roof challenge and he did the power challenge and took you to the quiz annex, um, we had forgotten that part of our um, Lumen City scavenger hunt was the scavenger hunt questions and the... Um, the photos so this video is going to be to do that and then we'll transition into the quiz so we've got um, some things to read here at the nuclear power station so unfortunately nuclear power stations produce radioactive nuclear waste radioactive nuclear waste can cause a lot of harm to people and the environment if it is not safely stored Nuclear power stations are built around a nuclear reactor. Nuclear reactors work by splitting atoms of nuclear material like uranium. A small amount of nuclear material can generate a large amount of energy in the form of heat. Unfortunately, the atom splitting also generates extremely dangerous radiation that must never escape the nuclear reactor. Therefore, safety is very important in these places. The heat from the nuclear reactor is used to boil water into steam. This steam makes a turbine rotate or turn. This rotation is converted to electricity by a generator. So we see how nuclear creates heat energy which is turned into movement energy kinetic energy to turn the generator which is then turned into electrical energy two large cooling towers cool down used steam so that it turns back into water to do this the cooling towers need large quantities of cold water therefore Nuclear power stations must be built near large bodies of water. Luckily, cooling towers only emit unharmful water vapor. There are no carbon dioxide emissions. So, I'm just going to pause here. I'm going to have to open a different screen, which I don't think you can see. But it has our um, answers to the questions that we're supposed to um, find out in this part of the challenge so um let's see here i need to go down here so what powers a nuclear power station is the first question oh yeah and i was using a book wasn't i um book and quill what powers a nuclear power station so Solar power questions. This is my next fresh page. Yeah, let's do this. So nuclear power questions. One, what powers a nuclear power station? So I believe that it said it was nuclear reactions, right? Let's check up here. Nuclear power stations are built around a nuclear reactor and a nuclear reactor works by splitting atoms of nuclear material like uranium. Okay, so that answers that. Oops. Um, let's see here. A nuclear power station is um, powered by a nuclear reactor which splits the atoms of nuclear material such as uranium. All right. What is the next question? Number two, how do nuclear reactors work? Okay, so we already talked about um, how it splits the atom. Um, the splitting of the atom creates lots of heat, and this heat is used to boil water to create steam. This steam turns the turbine connected to a generator, which converts that movement energy into electrical energy. Ta-da! Not 
technically a um, complete sentence, but it'll do for us. Why is safety so important in a nuclear power plant? Safety is so important in a nuclear power plant because the splitting of the atom also produces dangerous radiation. Okay, and let's see. Number four, why do these plants need large amounts of cold water? Gee, see how useful it is when you read? I remember all these things already. Um, these plants need large amounts of cold water to cool down. What is it? Does it said that they cool? Uh, <coughs> large cooling towers cool down used steam so that it turns back to water. Okay. Cool down... the used steam so that it turns back into water. Okay. Um, what was the other question? There was one more. True or false, the vapor from a nuclear plant's cooling towers is harmful to the environment. Oh, I remember what I said. That answer is... Oops, I went too far. False. It is false that the, what did it say? How did it word it? The cooling towers, okay. That the cooling towers emit things that are harmful to the environment. They actually just emit water vapor. All right, so we've got our five questions. Let's see, the scavenger hunt photo prompt. Ooh, what's down the waste excavation chute? Find out and prove it with a photo. Where are the nuclear control rods? Find them and prove it with a photo. And take a photo of the cooling tower for this plant. All right, let's see what we can do here. So I need my camera. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, let's go inside first. Is that the place where I go inside? What does that say? Looks like an open door. Am I in the right place? I think so. Oh yes, this is the challenge that uh, is timed and difficult. You run back and forth like a chicken with your head cut off presenting disaster. Okay, now this is the place. Let's see. Woo! Woo! Can I go down? I cannot go down. What if I crouch? No. Boo. Well, I suppose safety first. No one allowed to go down where the nuclear waste is stored. Let's take a picture from here. I cannot go any farther. Let me um, use my portfolio. Uh, nuclear challenge. This is as far as I can get down the waste chute. Okay. Maybe in the future we will have the ability to explore that in a different way, but not today. All right, so nuclear control rods and a cooling tower. That looks like a cooling tower. What do you think? Oh, look at lots of cooling towers. Oh, and I bet, you know, red means hot. And blue means not. I wonder if there's water under here. That would confirm. Oh, yes. Look at the water. Look at the water. Don't fall into the water. So I believe that these things must be the cooling towers. All right. Yes. And that's lots of water there. So I'm supposed to take a picture of the cooling towers. That's kind of a cool view. Boom. Let's see here. No, that's the book. Good heavens. Okay. No. Okay, I don't need this. This can go away. Here we go. Nuclear challenge. Spell things properly. The two cooling towers. 
And now we got to find some control rods. Is that what they're called? Let's find out. Go back. Take a photo of the cooling tower. What are the, where are the nuclear control rods? Okay. Control rods. Hello, chicken. Do you know where the nuclear control rods are? I can't get up that way now. Hmm. Oh, I hear a skeleton. Okay, well, we know that there's no control rods there. There's just big bodies of water. And the cooling towers. Oh, what's that? Is that a different... Hmm. What are you? There's a path. Is this the... Yes, okay. So I think that's the, the building where we had to control the meltdown. And then this is the power that takes it into the city, and here are the cooling towers. So where does this path lead? Let's see. This is definitely man-made. What is that? What is that? <gasps> Aha! We found these are definitely the control rods. So let's take a picture of this. And so that's on the inside. Let's take a picture of the location of the building on the outside, shall we? Oh, Mr. Big, can I see a boat? Yeah, let's kind of do this. Mm. I'm trying to get the tower and the place. Hmm. I'm going to have to go for a swim if I want to get far enough away to get them both. Okay. So. Ta-da! That's what I want. I want to be able to show that it's off the back. Um, nuclear challenge. Control rods in a cave. Oh, back! <laughs> Probably not exactly like real life. Okie dokie. So now we have officially um, taken all the photos for our scavenger hunt. Um, so in order to share those things with the class, you're going to need to choose to export your portfolio and it's going to ask you where to save it on your device and then you'll be able to um, import that into OneNote or into the D2L Brightspace uh, discussion forum or wherever you're choosing. And the same thing with the um, book where I've chosen to answer. That was optional, but hey, isn't it cool that if you click this, it'll actually read it to you with the immersive reader. So I just want to experience that for a second. Since I wrote this, that's kind of neat that it's going to read it to me like, you know, like I'm an author or something like that. I don't need any tips. Buy tips. And let's see what happens. Will it allow me to click? Oh, right. Oh, if I hide this, I bet it will. Let's go. Yeah. Now I wonder, can I just scroll and like, let's say I just wanted to read my nuclear stuff, which is at the bottom. Um, if I click, will it read from here? 
And then hit play. I double clicked there. Oh, it does. Sweet. Kind of annoying it reads the pages, but. Oops. Neat. So now you remember you don't hit the X or you leave the game. You hit this back arrow. And having it read to me allowed me to see that I made a typo in uh, number five. So I can go back. Doo -doo. Oh, I wonder why there's so many pages here. I don't need 20. Oh, hello. Does it allow me to delete that page? How do I do that? What does this do? Aha! Delete. This. Delete. Lots of pages that aren't necessary. Delete. 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 There! Okay, so now um, I don't think it allows me to like click and put my mouse where I want it to. It just goes at the very bottom and I have to use the arrow keys. And it's this light green, which is sometimes hard to see, but now I can make my edit. So if I'm ready to export this book, um, I can sign it. I don't actually have to export it. I can keep it as an artifact in the game when I sign it. So you have to do two things. You have to put the title. Um, let's say, what do I want to call this? Scavenger Hunt questions oh too much okay um energy hunt questions nope energy questions okay and then um it tells you here when you sign the book it's no longer editable so it's got a title and it's got a name and when i hit sign and close now it's like this enchanted book and it becomes an artifact in the game i can still read it and i can have it read to me and I can export it, um, just like I did with my portfolio. Uh, export it, it'll ask me where I want to save it on my device, and then I can import that as a PDF into OneNote, um, into, hi Piggy, into um, Word or um, D2L Brightspace. I can share it with class and teachers in that way. And so that is awesome. And then I could also... Um, place it like if I were to share this map with another student um, or teachers or I wanted people to be able to play it later I could place the book into the map um, like into a chest where I'm not holding it and um, it becomes an artifact in the game which is pretty cool so like if I wanted to um, I don't know go and hide it somewhere in the houses or I wanted to put it in a chest at the start of the um, at the start so people could find it either as a you know kind of as a hidden Easter egg you jumping around to or as a um, not as hidden as just the answers then when someone else loads my map I could I would then have access to the answers. So I remember how this was my favorite house. I am going to see if I can find a cool place to put it because this is a house full of library books. Now, I don't believe it's something you can just place down. Like, it's not like a cake. I don't think I can, like, no. Uh, I can't place it. And if I throw it, it just, you know, it doesn't just sort of sits there or picks back up. So. And it's possible it might disappear. Um, you could probably burn it. You don't want to put it in the oven. But uh, I do want to find a nice place to hide it. Because, you know, that's kind of cool. And you're to keep your book. So this is a nice bedroom. And those are the stairs. 
this is outside. So yeah, why not? I will uh, I'll put it in here. I left a piece of leather there, so now I'm gonna put this book for. And if I were to share this map in the future, now it, the challenges would be done. So it's not like people could actually play the challenges. I've turned um, them green, and so they they don't turn red again. And the the way to the brick factory is open. But if you wanted to just play this world in general. Um, share the map with people and they could you know live in it for fun play it in the survival world use it to write a story yada yada those kinds of things then this artifact now exists right if you mouse over it it tells you it's uh energy questions by jan l it's an original so that's kind of cool uh when i come back in to the game um or if somebody else has loaded this exact version like i'd have to export this version of the game not um not one before it and then they would be able to do that. So this is the place in the game where we were supposed to get to. And we had all these five challenges turned green. And now the way to the brick factory is open. Don't forget to look both ways. There's construction going on here. See the power lines underneath the street? So at the start of the game, here's the big factory made out of bricks. This was closed. Um, you could just walk around the opening area with all these uh, pallets and you see that this is a blue beacon like at the start. So kind of like the, the start of the game where you spawn in is blue and the end of the game is also blue. And this was all glassed over as had it been said already. Um, final challenge, complete the other challenges to enter. So we have successfully done that. And then this is a, a factory, right? Set up to build uh, things, maybe not bricks, but... To build things there's random levers and things once you got in you can explore and uh do stuff with and they, i don't think they do anything i believe they're just for show um but there is a place right here that says power quiz so when you click that everyone that's with you is transported into a room it's a closed room and there's no escape unless you answer the questions that come up as a, as a say in the chat. So question one, which of these methods, oh no, it disappeared, don't worry. You have to hit T and then it just comes back up. Which of these methods of generating power produces greenhouse gases? Oh boy, now I wish I had my, uh, my book with me. So I'm just gonna have to use my brain. Greenhouse gases, nuclear power, coal power, what does this say? Hydropower, wind power. So I have to use my background knowledge. What is a greenhouse gas? Um, greenhouses are places where we grow plants and they're warm. Those those glass houses that trap the heat. So a greenhouse gas is a gas that traps the heat. And I know an example of a greenhouse gas is carbon dioxide. And none of these examples produce gas. Um, right? Nuclear power may look like gas, but it's actually harmless steam. But coal power does indeed pollute. And so I think that's the answer. I'm going to click it. And look, so I am correct. It's moved me to another closed room with the question two. Which electricity generation method does not, come back please, use a rotating turbine? So we got solar panels, coal power stations, nuclear power stations, hydroelectric dams. Well, we know that all three of these use um, heat or movement energy to create, or heat energy to create movement energy, and they turn something to get electrical energy. But solar panels don't work like that. They have uh, photovoltaic cells in them that allow them to just convert directly from the heat and light of the sun into electricity without movement. So if I click that, that's the right answer. But I want to show you what happens if you click the wrong answer. Let's see. Bah. Sorry, that was incorrect. And you die and you end up back in the brick factory. Um, so this is why if you had to do it in a group, everybody needed to have done the questions. Everybody needs to be together. Um, and nobody can be like hitting buttons all willy-nilly because then you have to you're back to question one you have to do the whole thing again so here we go uh, we're not going to do the wrong answers now if we can help it where's solar solar does not 
turn a turbine. Ooh, the purple room. What's the question? Why are nuclear power stations located near seas or rivers for workers to drink? Yeah, you get thirsty, man. It's hot there. To split the water molecules. Oh, I know it splits water. Uh, it splits molecules, and it has something to do with water, but are, are those two things together? Wish I had my book. So workers can travel by boat. <laughs> Water is required for cooling. Well, although I find some of these things amusing, and one of them is slightly tricky if you weren't paying attention, the correct answer is nuclear power stations use water for cooling. Blue room. Question four. What, which electricity generation method does not need water to operate? Oh, wind turbines, coal power stations. No, I remember seeing big water there. Nuclear power stations. We know that's water. Hydroelectric dams, that is water. Like, literally, it means water. So it's super easy if you knew. Wind turbines. Yellow room. What is the main advantage of using wind turbines? No wind means no power. I want the word advantage, right? You have to know that. Advantage or disadvantage. So this is true. No wind means no power. But is that an example of an advantage? Hundreds of them replace one power station. Hmm, also true. But is it an advantage? People find them beautiful. Actually, I think that's false from the reading. Most people find them ugly. Although I don't mind them. They look kind of majestic, slowly turning. But probably not in my backyard. No carbon dioxide emissions. So we've got one false statement. And then we've got two true statements but are they advantages and then we've got this statement no carbon dioxide emissions also true so you have to be able to understand what the word advantage is um and i happen to know that an advantage is a good thing and a disadvantage using that prefix is a bad thing so out of all four of these there's only one that is both true and good for wind power, that there are no carbon dioxide emissions. So, green room, which of these does not apply to solar panels? They generate, or they generator? I think that's supposed to say they generate power during the daytime. That's true. You need many to produce lots of power. Also true. You can place them at home. Also true, they produce greenhouse gases. So the question is, does not apply to solar panels? This is the truth. Carbon dioxide is not produced by a solar panel, so that is not true. Pink room, which of these changes high voltage into low voltage or reversed? And I happen to know because we've already done the measuring electricity lesson by this time that voltage is a measurement of electricity. Uh, so transformers, generators, overhead lines, underground cables. So all four of these things have to do with getting the power to the people from the place. But now I have to name the machine that is has the job of changing high voltage into low voltage. Well, I know that a generator is what creates. To generate means to create electricity. Um, the overhead lines transfer are a way to get an electricity, and so are the underground cables. And transformers um, change. And so the question is asking about changing. So I can take a clue from what I know from this word, even if I don't know that the word transformers means change. If I know the movie Transformers, those things change um, into other things. So it would be a fair guess that this one is about changing. Ta-da! How can hydroelectric dams be used to store energy? Let's see. By pumping water back up behind the dam. By watering the nearby plants. <laughs> by pumping water down. By storing the water in batteries. No, it's just an example of it being like a battery. There's no like actual water batteries. So the answer is by pumping water back up behind the dam 
Um, they are storing energy because they're actually gravity works, right? Gravity pulls things down. So if you have something up high, you have something called potential energy, the ability to create energy when it falls. So pumping the water down wouldn't ha store energy and potential energy. Only pumping the water up would do that. Okay, let's click. Next. Whoa! <gasps> that was incorrect. I died. Oh, no. I hope I didn't click the wrong one. I think that's the answer. Where are we at? So, uh, greenhouse gas. No, I gotta go through. Coal. Electricity does not rotate a turbine. Where are you? Here. Solar. Why are nuclear power stations located near rivers? Refers to drink. I think that's funny. Which electricity method does not need water to operate? What is the main advantage? Advantage, advantage, advantage. Where are you? Yep. Which of these does not apply to solar? High voltage into low voltage. Hydroelectric dams. Okay, so... By pumping water back up behind the dam. That's what I thought that I said. Oh, no. I hope I didn't click by pumping water down. Maybe I've got the wrong answer. Jeez, now I don't know what to do. Decisions. Okay, so what are my choices? Watering nearby plants. Storing water in batteries. It's definitely, it's not the truth. Pretty sure it's pumping water back up behind the dam. Pumping water down. I think that's wrong. But then if I hit it, oh, lots of decisions. Okay, I'm going to click this one. I'm almost positive it's right, and maybe I made a mistake and clicked the wrong one. If not, we will end um, the video. Are we on number nine? Or number eight? We'll end the video if I need to, I think, and uh, share the rest of the answers with you in a different way. Let's see. Ooh. Yes! Okay, so it was human error. I clicked the wrong one. I wasn't really paying attention. There's some things that are popping up on my screen that you probably can't see that are a bit distracting. That's what's happening right now. So which of these applies to hydroelectric dams? They emit carbon dioxide. No. Um, they only produce electricity when it rains. No. They can only be built in limited locations. Yeah, that's true. They are not a renewable resource. Hydro is a renewable. So this is the answer. Okay, last question. Which of these is not a renewable resource? Sunlight, coal, river water, wind. Coal is the only one. Oh, there's more questions. I thought there was only 10. What are cooling towers used for in a nuclear power station to warm things up? Um, no. To emit nuclear radiation, to emit carbon dioxide, to cool down steam. Maybe there's 20 questions. What does an electrical generator convert? Heat to rotation. Rotation to electrical power. Wind to rotation, electrical power to heat. So what's the question? What does an electrical generator convert? Like that's a generator that produces electricity. <coughs> it produces electrical power. Generate means produce. So it is, yeah, the generator is the thing that spins. So rotation is spinning, spinning to electrical power. Okay. How is... Nuclear energy produced. Splitting carbon dioxide. Splitting atoms. Burning uranium. Burning coal. I know it's atoms, particularly nuclear atoms. <gasps> okay, congratulations. You answered all questions correctly. You are now in creative mode. Feel free to explore the map. Thank you for playing. Nice. Well, I don't know about you, but the very first thing I'm going to do is uh, walk back to the nuclear power plant and see what's down that coal excavation chute. But I'll remember what I use so I can uh, put it back for later. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. So that was our Lumen City scavenger hunt and discovery challenge. Now you've got all the answers that you need and you can use them for the upcoming test.